Hi, I'm Stephen Cronin from stephencronin.com. Thanks for joining me again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to paint this simple little park scene. Got our path there, little figures walking amongst all the uh, foliage, all the dark trees, shadows. We've got telegraph poles, a few foreground shadows. Um, before I show you that, just a quick mention of my uh, Patreon page. You'll see it in the link in the description. Lots more videos over there if you want to help me out. So let's quickly, before I do the paint, let's just show you the colours. So if I just get the palette the right way around, we've got ultramarine, cad yellow, Payne's grey, lizard and crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber, light red. Uh, got the large John Ranson hake and 15 by 11 watercolour paper, Fabriano. So let's kick it off. Big eye brush, a little bit of water, just start the paint to give it all crinkly. And then I'm going to go a bit of a lizard in crimson, a little sienna, a little bit of yellow in there as well. It's a nice bright colour, just come down there, down there, you can see through the trees. I'm going to bring that all the way down to the bottom of the paper. So I just a like nice background colour to work with. Clean the brush. Get a Payne's grey. Ultramarine. This will be the sky. Dotting that around. A few trees on this left hand side, so I don't worry too much about that. That's all I'm going to put in there for the sky part then. So, I might even put a few little white clouds up there. Now a few background trees, so I'm mixing the same colours. But I want it really strong now. So I'm adding a bit of Payne's grey to this background mix. These are going to sort of come to something like Something like that. And down to the path. It's going to be a path down here, so I'm just weary of where that path is going to start. Let's have a look at a few little, a few little fence posts in there I'm scraping in. Keep add a bit of interest. Clean the brush by mistake there. I don't know why I did that because I'm giving the same colours, same mix. So it's all the sky colours plus a bit of Payne's grey. Just make that a little bit more blue, a bit more ultramarine. Again, to that level. Darken a bit there. Where the two almost meet. I don't know, full of all of that. And that's going on in the background, but in front of that, I'm going to start off these trunks. Just start them off, put them in while the paper's still wet. And these are going to be in front of these ones. Just to maximise that contrast. Right, now it's 
popping some of these trunks in there so it's just adding a bit of brown to the overall mix. A bit of brown, a bit of blue. Probably might even use the eye brush as well, depends how, how strong these trunks can, I can get them. Okay, I'm just trying to get a nice dark mix brown, blue. I'm popping a few twigs and branches and things. in the gaps. Let's switch to the high. Bit of brown, bit of blue, same mix again. Nice sharp edge. Plenty of paint, not so not too much water. Let's just try and get some of these. See how much easier they go on like this. Doing slightly different angles and don't want more like you know, nice parallel straight lines, just bear it slightly. paper stretched a little bit so I'm just going to pull that flat against the board refix it with these clips and what I have got there stick in that dark mix nice sharp edge you can use a little rigger brush if you prefer but I'm just going to just there Telegraph pole. I'm just going another one. Down there. I'm just a bit too thick that was, didn't like that. Switch back to the rigger. Oops, that line across there wasn't great. Uh, Now I want a lighter colour now, I'm doing raw sienna, yellow, raw sienna, yellow, it's a lot lighter than I'll be using. It's going up there like that. Such a brown, didn't mean to do that so much so it's Back to the lighter colour, so I've cleaned the brush again. Bit of ultramarine, darkening it down there. Actually, no, I don't want to do too much scrape, so I've done a bit of scraping in there, and I'll try and s s resist the. Uh, Doing too much scraping. Things growing around there. Now again, I need to get back.
What I could do is a slightly lighter area there. That's that is way past dry. Um, so I, I want to figure up there. It's not going to stand out very well. So what I might do is just I'm just going to wet it round there. Just wet it round there. And just dab it out slightly. I think I've did it. I've done that too much. This little brush here. I'm going to figure it out. I'll try to give it a bit of dry first. So I'm just going to switch to my little rigger brush. Smallest brush I've got. Just dab that in the water. It's good for a dark colour. Just a bit of brown, a bit of blue. Nice dark mix. Let's get the scale right. So um, I'm going to stick him about there. So get the body in and then his legs. Keep it on. And the next swim. Look dark. Wow, let's get some shadows in there. I want some shadows cutting across this path. Right, so for them we're doing a bit of brown, a bit of red, a bit of blue. Mix those together. Lean towards sort of blue, a bluey mix. Something like that. Um, right, let's have them. I'm gonna have them coming from the from the right, I think. Or shall I? Um, yeah, it's a few shadows in there, coming straight across. And going into here. Oh, I can smell that. Darker area around there. Just see, we need shadows from our little figures. Get that so that looks on there. I'm just going to pull these straight across like that. A little one for the dog. Some of these posts. to do with that line there I might just ignore it just leave it I'm just gonna leave it because I'll probably I'll put that in by mistake 
when I was doing these lines, I'm just going to leave it rather than um, fiddle around with it. So, this is what it looks like with the main sun. This is the finished painting in the in the main. So, if we zoom in and have a closer look at it, sky area was um, started off with a bit of raw sienna and lizard and crimson and create that sort of um, a lot of peachy colour. Comes all the way down. See it reflected there in, in the path there in the foreground. And you can see where I took out some clouds with a bit of tissue. That helps. Not only the profile of these trees to stand out a little bit better against what would have been a slightly darker background, but also these telegraph poles and wires, they also stand out a little better. Um, then various greens for these background trees. I've got a few here on the right hand side, a few here in the distance that you can see between these trunks. These scrap when I've scraped that that doesn't really work if I'm honest. I shouldn't have scrapped on all this scraping. It works better as dark trunks amongst this, the shadows. Um, never mind. At least I know. I know for next time. But yeah, I just used the corner of the brush for some uh, dark, sort of silhouetted foliage against that lighter sky. In the gaps there, you can see when I've used a bit of rig at just to create a few uh, twigs and branches and things. I initially did these trunks with a rigger brush, but it just wasn't. I wasn't getting a sort of satisfactory effect, so I switched to the hike. Sort of, and it, I think it worked a lot better. Nice dark trunks, just silhouetted nicely against the light of the sky in the background. Then lighter colour there, the greens, light greens, sort of cad yellow, raw sienna mix. Then back to the darks, right in the foreground. Left this path area. I never touched that since I did the initial wash. You can see this was the same colour put in the sky. Just so I knew, because then because it makes the shadows stand out better. If you put the path in too dark, you won't get the same effects with the shadows. You can see where the paint breaks as I'm brushing it in. Just looks like light. You can imagine there's the summit over here on the right hand side casting this shadow, and you've got the little gaps here which the light's shining through. And then our path leads up there to a little man and his dog. Don't forget their little shadows as well. A few little fence posts scattered in. I did scrape a few in amongst these, but they've sort of got lost amongst the uh, the rest of the painting. Well, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed that. Remember, you can see plenty more videos over on my Patreon page if you'd like to help support me so I can uh, keep uh, making these videos, making it sustainable. So, until next time, keep practicing. Any questions, please ask, and I'll see you again soon.